Trump just broke Obama's gross eight-year White House tradition and pissed people off with what replaced it. The White House has seen a lot of changes in the last six months starting the day President Donald Trump was sworn into office. The whirlwind of changed haven't sat well with liberals but this latest is sure ruffling some tail feathers. Without warning, Trump did away with what was probably one of his predecessor's most favorite traditions that many Americans may not have known about. Cancelling this gross month-long celebration that strangely coincided with the Muslim holiday of Ramadan, he abruptly replaced it with something better. The irony of these two side-by-side -side events which dragged on for four weeks was apparently lost on Barack Obama, unless it was planned this way on purpose by this very confused liberal leader. First, it was the Cinco de Mayo celebration which got pared down to a more modest event to save taxpayers money in the midst of disagreement with Mexico over who is going to pay for the border wall. Then, just as the Muslim holiday of Ramadan was beginning, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson called off the party and didn't apologize. America and certainly our president don't want to or need to be celebrating the religion that sets out to obliterated U.S. citizens and our way of life in the people's house. Now, the liberal left just got a third blow to their beloved traditions when Trump announced what else he's cancelling that's been happening for eight years. From 2009 until 2016, President Obama had issued annual proclamations recognizing the month of June as LGBT Pride Month and hosted LGBT festivities inside the White House, Pink News reported. That came to a sudden halt today when our president said that June isn't going to be set aside for this special interest group anymore. Today, the Trump White House released a string of proclamations marking June as National Home Ownership Month, National Ocean Month, African American Music Appreciation Month and Great Outdoors Month, but no such proclamation was released for LGBT Pride Month, according to Pink News. This was not a move made to discredit the LGBTQ community as he's more than made his support known for these people, which has been surprising to many critical liberals. Even still, Leftists are still complaining about it despite going against their own demands that everything be all equal. There's not White Week in the White House to celebrate this particular race, nor is there a heterosexual or traditional marriage month. So why should there be an entire segment of time dedicated to celebrating one type of sexuality or life choice over another? Democratic leader Nancy Pelosi was particularly pissed about Trump's alleged disregard for these people and made her own announcement to commemorate the month while also trashing Trump. As we mark LGBT Pride Month, we honor the LGBT leaders who have striven to build a more just society for all, and recognize the struggles and sacrifices they have endured in the fight for equality. This month, we celebrate their triumphs and remember that our Founders' Creed, that all are created equal, is not inevitable that we must work every day to forge a more just, inclusive and perfect union. She went on to talk about the struggles that LGBT Americans face on their rights to HIV prevention and treatment. It's the White House's fault that they are apparently infected with this disease and slash or unable to seek treatment for it, rather than doing thinking on their own choosing to prevent it. These hateful, discriminatory attacks dishonor our nation's most sacred ideals of liberty and make passage of the Equality Act which would bring the full force of the Civil Rights Act to secure equality for LGBT people, even more urgent. Pelosi continued in her hateful speech aimed at our president. This bill is about respect and pride, not mere tolerance, and House Democrats will not relent until it has been made law. The apparent purpose of this month-long LGBT push that Obama began was to push for more rights, protection, and privileges for those in this particular community. It's ironic that it coincided with Obama's White House celebrations of the Muslim holiday of Ramadan since no other religion on the planet has such hate or disdain for these alternative lifestyles as Muslims. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.